Hey everybody, Dom here. Today, I'd like to compare the two Team Fortress 2 Engineer melee weapons, the Wrench and the Jag. The general consensus is that the Jag is superior to the default Wrench. Today, I'm going to do some tests to determine if this is true. Let's start by comparing the stats of the two weapons. The Wrench is a stock weapon so it doesn't have any stats. The Jag has 5 lines of stats. The positive stats read, Construction hit speed boost increased by 30%, plus 15% faster firing speed. The negative stats read, 20% slower repair rate, minus 25% damage penalty, minus 33% damage penalty versus buildings. These stats can be divided into four categories. The changes made to construction speed, the changes made to building repair speed, the changes made to damaging players, and the changes made to damaging buildings. The construction bonus and the faster firing increase the benefits of hitting buildings during construction and redeployment. For those unaware, hitting a building during construction or redeployment with an engineer melee weapon speeds up the process slightly. Multiple hits increase the benefit. The Jack's faster firing speed also means the engineer can more quickly convert his metal into progress towards upgrading his buildings. The Jack's main upside is that it can be used to speed up the construction, redeployment, or upgrading of buildings more than the wrench. Let's do a side by side comparison. This comparison will give the Jag as many advantages as possible to determine how well it can do in the most ideal circumstances. The advantages are, we'll build dispensers, since they take longer to build than sentries, there's a greater benefit. We'll stand next to a resupply cabinet so we'll have unlimited metal, whereas in real world gameplay it's unlikely that an engineer will not have to leave their building mid-build to get more metal. There will be no distractions or incoming damage while constructing. The final advantage is, we'll be constantly holding down the fire button after placing the building, whereas humans usually let go for a moment after building. Counting the frames on the 60 frames per second recording, the difference between the two dispensers being built was 146 frames. That's 2.43 seconds. In the most ideal situation, this is the maximum possible benefit the Jag can give when building a building from start to finish. For the entire process, the wrench took 1306 frames, or 21.77 seconds, whereas the Jag took 1160 frames, or 19.33 seconds. This means that overall, the wrench was 12.59% slower. This has been a test between dispensers being built. When engineers are in a hurry to build a building, the building they want to quickly construct is usually a sentry gun. Let's do the test again, but for sentry guns. Counting the frames, the difference between the two sentries being built was 112 frames. That's 1.87 seconds. For the entire process, the wrench took 1,063 frames, or 17.72 seconds, whereas the Jag took 951 frames, or 15.85 seconds. This means that overall, the wrench was 11.78% slower. The Jag's faster firing speed and lower repair rate change the rate at which buildings can be healed. The Jag heals 81 points of damage to buildings per hit. Its attack interval is 0.68 seconds. This means the Jag can heal 119.12 damage per second. The wrench heals 102 points of damage to buildings per hit. Its attack interval is 0.8 seconds. This means the wrench heals 127.5 damage per second. Despite the difference in how fast each weapon converts metal into building health, both weapons heal buildings in the same number of hits most of the time. Level 1 buildings have 150 health, so to repair them from 1 health to full health, both weapons require 2 hits. Level 2 buildings have 180 health, so to repair them from 1 health to full health, both weapons require 2 hits. Again. Level 3 buildings have 216 health, so to repair them from 1 health to full health, both weapons require 3 hits. The only building that requires more hits to repair is the mini sentry. It has 100 health, so the wrench fully repairs it in 1 hit, whereas the jag fully repairs it in 2 hits. Because buildings have these set values of health, and the jag has a faster firing speed, it will usually heal buildings faster than the wrench. The faster firing speed and the damage penalty means the Jack performs differently versus enemies. The wrench deals 65 damage and 195 crit damage. The Jack deals 49 damage and 146 crit damage. The lower crit damage means the Jack can't kill a pyro or a Delman with a single critical hit like the wrench can. Additionally, 
Instead of killing the 125 health classes in two regular hits, it takes three hits to kill a scout, engineer, sniper, or spy. In terms of damage output over time, the wrench has a fire rate of 0.8 seconds and the jack has a fire rate of 0.68 seconds. This means the wrench deals 81.25 damage per second and the jack deals 72.06 damage per second. The wrench deals 12.76% more damage per second. These numbers don't factor in random critical hits. Melee weapons have a 15-60% chance to randomly crit, so a significant amount of their damage is due to random crits. The faster firing speed, the damage penalty, and the damage penalty versus buildings means that Jag performs differently while damaging buildings. At first, it's a bit perplexing that an engineer melee weapon would have the downside of damage to buildings. Engineers almost never destroy engineer buildings, especially with their melee weapons. The thing is, the spy zapper is also considered a building. Therein lies the real reason for this downside. Zappers are buildings with 100 health. Due to the two damage penalties, the Jag deals 43 damage per hit to zappers. This means it takes three hits to destroy a zapper. The wrench deals 65 damage to zappers, so it can destroy them in two hits. Let's do another comparison. The Jag also has a faster firing speed, so maybe the difference in time it takes to destroy a zapper isn't that huge. Counting the frames, the difference between the two weapons destroying a zapper was 35 frames. That's 0.58 seconds. From start to finish, the wrench took 60 frames, or 1 second, whereas the Jag took 95 frames, or 1.58 seconds. This means that overall the Jag was 58.33% slower. Unlike the damage versus players, zappers are one singular thing with a fixed health amount and aren't affected by random crits. With that in mind, it'll always take the Jag 3 hits and the exact same amount of time to destroy them. So, calculating damage per second doesn't make sense here. With all four categories covered, it's time to interpret the data and try to determine if the Jag is really superior to the wrench. The construction, redeployment, and building speed benefits are lackluster. 2.43 seconds is minuscule in the grand scheme of a 20 minute round. How many times does an engineer's building need to be destroyed in order to make it worth it? In normal gameplay, it's very rare to have a safe time to rapidly build buildings. Engineers have to retreat for health and metal, and they need to repair their buildings as they take damage. Spies are a walk and talk and high priority distraction. It's extremely rare that an engineer will ever get the maximum benefit of the Jag. Maybe if an engineer's buildings are constantly getting destroyed over and over, it'll be worth it to use the Jag. If someone has a gameplay style where they focus entirely on quickly deploying sentries in out of sight corners, and they treat the sentries as disposable, then the Jag becomes a preferable melee for them. The Jag's differences to repairing buildings are hardly noticeable. Technically, it heals buildings slower over time, but since buildings are almost always healed to full in the same amount of hits, and the Jag hits faster, it has a slight edge. The Jag performs worse if buildings are taking damage as the engineer is healing them. If the situation arises where an engineer must outheal damage to keep the building alive, the Jag falls short. The damage versus players downside the weapon has isn't as harsh as it seems. Engineers rarely engage in melee combat in regular gameplay. The downside can be negated by using a primary or secondary to deal damage instead. The most likely situation where the damage penalty impacts gameplay is versus a surprise spy and having to hit them an additional time. The Jack having to hit zappers an additional time is a deal breaker. If an engineer has their teleporter, dispenser, and sentry in close proximity, and a spy zaps all three buildings, having to hit each of them a third time can easily mean the difference between them surviving or being destroyed. Taking everything into consideration, in my opinion, the Jack's benefits do not outweigh its downsides and so the weapon isn't superior to the wrench. That does not mean the weapon doesn't have its uses. Engineers can use it on their first life when playing defense to quickly build buildings before the round starts. All of Jack's downsides are negated when there's no distractions, no enemies to fight, and no way for the engineer or their buildings to take damage. Additionally, players who are accustomed to the Jag and have their entire playstyle focused on maximizing the Jag's upsides can probably do well with it. Overall, the two weapons are so close to each other that a player's skillfulness will be way more important than what melee weapon they decide to equip. And that was the video. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think in the comments. Au revoir.